Hello there, I'm Lilith Fox, and a warm, warm welcome to Alderwood and my channel. This video is the first in my Animal Crossing New Horizons Let's Play series. I started playing Animal Crossing New Horizons the night it came out, and I put about 800 hours into my first island before completely resetting it just a few days ago. I was feeling a disconnect between what I was doing in the game and what I actually wanted to get out of it. For me, Animal Crossing has always been an escape and a reminder to live simply and slowly. I had lost that focus on my first island by time traveling too much and fixating only on building up new areas just to tear them down again and start over. It had gotten to the point where rarely did I just wander around my island, taking in the sights, fishing, and connecting with my villagers. I had lost touch with what was the heart of Animal Crossing for me, and I wanted to find my way back to it. And so I reset. And with this fresh start, I made myself a few rules to live by. One, no time travel. I'm going to take things slowly, moment to moment, and day by day, enjoying the process of building and shaping Alderwood to what it will eventually become. And two, I'm going to revel in the little things. I won't be too quick to progress. I'll leave Blathers in his tent for a few days, let Harv wander the island a day or two longer, I'll spend time fishing and staring at the sea and the sky and just enjoying the space that I'm going to build. I'll decorate around areas that are impermanent and imperfect. I'll plant flowers where they won't be staying. I'll enjoy villagers that aren't really my vibe and don't really fit my plans or my theme. And so that's what this Let's Play series is going to be about. It'll be about enjoying the game slowly, focusing on the process and the little things that make Animal Crossing great. And of course, along the way, I'll show you some tips on how I decorate and terraform and design. One of my favorite characters from New Horizons is Daisy May. I love her design, of course, I draw her all the time, but I also love how she just ambles around the island, checking out each new space, breathing in the island air, completely unfocused on whether or how she'll sell any turnips that day. She's a mindfulness icon, completely and beautifully situated in the present. This is a reminder that I often need for myself. It is okay to wander aimlessly, without purpose or focus. It's okay to do things for the joy of doing them. It is okay to grow slowly, over time, with a winding timeline, and without pressure or fear. And so, with Alderwood, this is my motto. It is okay to wander aimlessly. And if that sounds like your kind of thing, let's wander aimlessly together.